module one, care of migrant children, the need for alternatives to detention. So the first module of the series provides an overview of international and EU legal frameworks for alternatives to detention of migrant children. It includes extracts from international human rights treaties, UN treaty bodies, general comments that specifically prohibit detention of children in the migration context, the case law of the European Court for Human Rights on Article 5 that speaks of the necessity to use detention only as last resort and to examine alternatives to detention of children, the case law of the Court of Justice of the EU and also EU law extracts and other sources such as the UNHCR guidelines or option papers or the study of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. First, we are looking at the definition of the child. The Convention on the Rights of the Child defines a child as any person below the age of 18, but states and sometimes also EU institutions do not always respect this and they may suggest differential treatment for children at different ages. For instance, a differentiation for children below and above the age of 12 or below and above the age of 15 or 16. It's also key to look at some guiding principles on children's rights. Migrant children are first and foremost children and our modules make use of the framework of the Convention on the Rights of the Child and its key principles, the best interests of the child principle, the right of the child to participate and to be heard, or non-discrimination. The module also covers the question of age assessment, which are procedures that, in case of doubt, determine whether someone is or is not a child. Very important international legal standards come here into play to decide when uh, and in which circumstances can the age assessment be conducted, how it should be done, and importantly, that there remains the benefit of the doubt while the decision is pending. The module also look at the right to liberty and the right to family life. And finally, the second half of the module explores alternatives to detention for migrant children in international and EU law. There are uh, specific obligations that states are bound to that relate to the treatment of children in any context, including migration, and they're bound to the provision of adequate care and reception for migrant children. States are also legally obliged to provide for alternatives to detention.